Hey everybody, it's Lillian Nade. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. If it's your first time stopping by, hey. And if it's not your first time, thank you so much for coming by my channel again. Today I am excited because it is now the beginning of February. Happy new month to you. And also it is Black History Month. So you know that I've got some black owned fragrances that I'd like to share with you. Now this is gonna be part one, okay? Because all of my other fragrances haven't made it in yet, but I am so excited about the ones that I do have. And so if you're interested to hear about them, please stick around. There's so much about me more than the eye can see, but I'm so glad to be no one to me. Throughout this channel, you're going to see a few things. You're going to see fragrances. You're going to see beauty, lifestyle, and hauls. So if that's something that you think you'd be interested in, I want you to do me a favor. I want you to comment down below. I want you to subscribe, like this video, and then hit the bell so you can be notified anytime I have an upload. Okay? Now on to the video. I wrote down a few things about these fragrances because I wanted to make sure that I was on it. I didn't want to make any mistakes. I didn't want to um, just be talking. I wanted to go ahead and make sure that I gave you all the goods, all the goodies, um, and then we'll go from there. One thing that I have noticed with um, some black owned brands and things like that, I have noticed that they are rarely, especially fragrances, they are really, really difficult sometimes to get. So it took me a while um, to get some of them and then I'll, I'll definitely link where I uh, purchased these from and all of that and we'll go from there. Okay, so if I'm rambling or it seems like I'm talking slow, y'all, I am tired, but I just had to get this video to you. I wanted to make sure that I um, at least started a part one uh, of this series since we are celebrating Black History Month. So I know this is the beginning of the month. Happy new month to all of you. I hope that you have some amazing plans and that you are able to accomplish each and every one of them. So. As we're getting into these black owned, uh, brown owned um, fragrances, one thing that I noticed was I had, I've been having a little bit of difficulty getting some of the products. So I only have maybe, uh, including these five, six, seven to tell you, tell you about. Uh, the other ones are being sent to me um, and hopefully they can get here very soon. Okay. So let's start with the first one. The first one that I have, and you've probably seen me talk about it a little bit, Casablanca. This is Brown Girl Jane Casablanca. One thing that I like about this fragrance is that it kind of gives you tropical type vibes, uh, mature tropical type cocoa banana type vibes. There's a coconut feel. Um, it's very, very, uh, very, very nice. Now it does give off powdery right there at the top. Now some of the notes, uh, some of the notes here, the top notes are marshmallow, the cardamom and incense. Then the mid notes, oh my goodness, suede, vanilla orchid, saffron, and then you have sandalwood, amber, and musk. Now what I use with this is I do use, even though the coconut is not there, I didn't read a coconut, um, a coconut, I didn't read a coconut note, but I still get, for some reason, I still get a very nutty, um, tropical type vibe. So what I use, what I use with this one is I'll put this nest with it. Um, I tried that together and it really, really brought it out. This is the nest, uh, Balinese, um, coconut. It's a perfume oil. It really, really helps to, to, to get this fragrance help it along, I guess, because one thing about it is I do like that. It's not a complicated fragrance at all, but it just does not last. I may get maybe, maybe four or five hours out of this one. This is one of the fragrances that if you are going to the pool or if you are going out, um, to some type of day event, something like that, I could see myself reaching for this, but but it has to be something where I know I'm not gonna be out all day. This is not go to work early in the morning and then in the evening you're coming back and you're still smelling yourself. This is just not that fragrance, okay? But I do like it. The longevity of it is only like maybe five hours. If you want something longer than that, I would not pick this. Um, but what I do like is that the perfume oil with it does help 
uh, for the longevity and the projection. Okay. So if you're looking for something like that, with that very powdery, the vanilla orchid is, is sweet, a sweet powdery, uh, fragrance. There's a little bit of saffron, but I'm not getting that much of it. Uh, a little bit of the saffron, uh, the, um, a little bit of the sandalwood as well. Uh, that's what I'm getting out of this fragrance, but it's really nice. It's nice to try. This is the only one from black girl, Jane, a brown girl, Jane that I have. Uh, so I look forward to picking up the other ones, but this one was, was a fragrance that I saw, I think in, I have to look and see where I purchased it. I think it was either Neiman Marcus or one of those type of stores, department stores. Um, I was able to get it and I was just so happy to be able to see a black owned brand in a store like that, a black owned uh, perfume or fragrance in a store like that. So that's why I wanted to go ahead and support and pick it up. So if you're looking for something that is very sweet, um, powdery, kind of floral, you do have those floral notes and then you want to kind of nut up a little bit. You want to put something uh, like this with it. I promise you it is really, really, really good. I wanted to make sure that I got into, you will see um, in, in these next few videos, you'll see that I'm using sample sizes, travel sizes and things like that because I want to explore the brands, right? Because some of them I don't know that well. Now I went to Sephora, um, I think it was a, for a sale or something like that. And I believe it was even last year. And so what I did, I think it was last year, but what I did was I got a Discover set, a Discovery set, and this is Chris Collins. It's they're all at the bar phones. I have five. I have five fragrances from Chris Collins. Now I'm going to be honest. I was so disappointed when I picked these up, when I got these, I think I got them in the mail. When I got these in the mail, I'm going to be honest. I was so disappointed. I did not have a trained nose. I did not have, uh, I didn't know anything really about fragrances. I just saw Oh, that's a, that's a black owned brand. So let me go ahead and check it out. I didn't know much about it. And so I was, I'll be honest, y'all. I was so disappointed with what I smelled. Here's the problem. When you purchase a fragrance and you let it sit for a minute, you start trying other fragrances. Then you go back and go back to those other ones that you purchased. There's a difference. Okay. So in these, we're going to talk about all five of them because the truth is uh, there, there were five that came in here and the truth is now I like them all. I don't know what happened. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm growing up a little bit. Um, maybe I'm developing, my nose is developing a little bit. I mean, but I absolutely like them all. There's one called dance savage. And I hope I'm pronouncing these right. Dance Savage and it, they all come like this. They're small. Um, there's, they're small, but really, really nice. I do like that. You can tell that this is, that these are like, they put you in the mind of luxury perf perfume houses. Um, and I like that this one right here is so good. This is called Dance Savage. It is, um, it, it's reminiscent of, I think they created it in 2017. It was created to, um, celebrate. They call her, they call her the black Venus. If you know anything about black Venus, that is Josephine Baker. So it's, it's this, and I can tell how the fragrance dances. If you think about Josephine Baker, she would dance in, in uh, nightclubs or, or um, perform at different events, usually at night. So this does put you in the mind of that. The top notes here are um, cognac, plum, saffron. The mid notes are pepper, uh, nutmeg, chili pepper, and rose. I've never had a chili pepper fragrance. I don't have any other fragrances that have chili pepper in them. And can I tell you that it does give some spice. You can, you can almost taste the bite in it. It is so good. And then the base notes, cedar, um, that oud, uh, they're calling it agarwood, I believe, uh, vanilla, patchouli, and amber. Listen, this is not for the faint of heart, but it is a unisex fragrance. It is, it is really good. It does have a little bit of sweetness. It has some, some spice to it. Um, but it is really, really nice. Now, when I, when I let my husband try it, he was just like, 
Yeah, it's a little softer than I than I like, but I'm telling you, I told him if you put on maybe one of the if you layer it with something, I'm t it, I just like it. I like it. I like it. I think that the the cognac comes in, of course, that saffron, then the oud, then the vanilla, then it, just everything. It is really, really nicely blended. It's well blended. It smells divine. This is something where if someone walks past you, you're going to say, oh, that's different. It's one of those type of scents. If you're looking to kind of stand out, that, that's the kind of scent that you have with this Dance uh, Savage. And I'll make sure that I, that I link them down below so you can see how they're spelled, okay? I hope that I'm pronouncing them correctly. Mm. The next one I have by Chris Collins is called Lost in Paradise. I really like this one. Um, as I mentioned before, I was talking about Casablanca by Brown Girl Jane. What I love about this one is this definitely is a lot being lost in paradise. I'm telling you, it is so tropical, so good, so sweet, but not too sweet. It is unisex. And I think that that's what makes it unisex. That is not super duper powdery. It's not super duper sweet like your um, um, House of Siage, that cream chiffon. It gives you that mind. It puts you in that mindset, but it's not that sweet. Um, I do like it because the top notes you have your lang ylang, you have coconut water, uh, mid notes you have peach, you have wild orchid, you have bamboo, base notes you have driftwood, There's, there are some sea notes in there, musk and then salt. So it's a salty fragrance. It's really good. This is the kind of fragrance that will put you at peace. If you're looking for clean, um, soft, but, but significant, I would use, I would go with this one. This is a beach type fragrance. Um, this is more of a summery fragrance. I wouldn't wear this anytime when it's cold at all. I wouldn't do this anytime when it's cold. Um, it gives you tropical fruity vibes. I love it. This one is really, really nice. This is a very calming scent. I would probably put it together with something like this one by Nest, uh, the coconut um, uh, perfume oil. I may put it with that or you could put it with something that's floral. If you put it with like a rose type uh, fragrance or, or um, even maybe berry type um, fragrance, you can, you can layer that and it will make it more feminine, I think. But it, this is really, really nice. When they said unisex, they really hit the nail on the head because it works for both. I really like this one. I'm gonna be honest, this one is called uh, Citrus Grandis or uh, cit Citrus Grandis, and this is one of my least favorite. This is the one that I like the least. Um, with this one, it is very citrusy. I'm not really into citrus that much, uh, so this one was not was not something that I that I liked that much. That much. Um, it has uh, pomelo in it, yuzu. Never heard of that. Uh, citron. The mid notes. You have. Vibena, you have black currant, you have base notes, you have vetiver, cedar, sandalwood, you have incense, you have musk, you have all of those. So it is a more complicated fragrance, but the citrus, I'm going to be honest, the citrus just throws me off. It's not, um, and I would say grandis, it is grand, it is a grand fragrance, but the citrus for me just does not work. But I do like that they, uh, there are levels to this. You know what I mean? This is not your um body splash type citrus this is this is a really really nice citrus but i don't care for it on me okay so it doesn't really work for me there's not a lot of uh there's not a lot to this one it's not really complicated but there is some depth to it okay uh, the woody notes yield a little masculine to me because you do have those woody notes in there. It does kind of lean toward the masculine feel, even though they said that it's unisex. But again, it's citrus grandies. Now I have, this one is Harlem Nights. These last two are my absolute favorites, okay? So you've probably heard of these two. Um, this one is, this one is Harlem Nights. Harlem Nights is so good. Oh, it's so good. I don't know anything about the the background of why he named them these names or what. 
This is considered to be unisex as well. However, it does give off a little masculine, but at the same time, it's very nice. Let me give you the notes really quick. The notes in this one um, for Harlem Nights, the top, I think it's the boozy, the boozy notes. The top notes are rum, saffron, cloves, nutmeg, grapefruit, and lemon. The mid notes, you have patchouli, you have cedar, you have this orris root, and then you have jasmine. Base notes, you have sandalwood, vanilla, musk, vetiver. It is good. Oh my goodness. I wore this yesterday and I got so many compliments it lasted all day it the projection was good i mean it smelled so good up against my skin um what i wore let me see let me try to remember what i wore yesterday with it um oh i used let me see if i can get it i got ready yesterday the moisturizer that i used was by hemp's this one is sweet pineapple and honey melon it is very 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 sweet very strong this one is very very strong a nice um moisturizer i really really like it and so i use this because i saw that it had grapefruit and lemon and so i was just thinking maybe this would work and it did so when i used this it sweetened up harlem nights but it didn't it didn't take anything away from harlem nights you know what I mean? It didn't take anything away from that fragrance. It is very nice. If a woman wears it, it can be very, very feminine and lovely. When a man wears it, it's masculine and strong. I just love it. This Harlem Nights is one of the ones where whoever puts it on, you smell divine. <laughs> whoever tries it, you smell really good. So if you're looking for a fragrance where, um, and I do this sometimes, I'll purchase a fragrance if I know that it'll smell good on my husband and then it'll smell good on me. So like when we travel and things like that, we're only taking one fragrance. We're only taking one thing. We're both going to wear it. We're both going to smell really good. And we go from there. Um, we do that a lot with Baccarat Rouge 540. We do that a lot with um, some other fragrances. This one, this is one of the ones where I, this is full bottle worthy. I can't talk about it enough. This one is really, really nice. You may want to try to get a, get a whiff of it. Okay. Make sure you do that. My scent of the day. Let me talk about my scent of the day. I wore this all day and I smelled so good. I kept smelling myself. Okay. So let me tell you what I've got. This one is long kiss. Good night. This one is the one. Okay. Let me tell you what I did. I went in with this after my shower. This is by house of Siage. It's jumpstart. It's a perfume oil. I still smell it. I still smell it on me right now. Okay. That's how good these are. And I mean, I leave early, early. Okay. I'm ready early, early. So anyway, I put this on, then I put long kiss good night. And I had people asking me, what is that? What fragrance are you wearing? That's different. What fragrance are you wearing? And I had to tell them it's Chris Collins, um, long kiss good night. And they were like, wow, that's different. This is wonderful for, for Valentine's day. This is wonderful. This, this fragrance is really nice. Let me give you the notes.